All right, so I got I got it in here. The uh, yeah, this as you saw probably in the earlier video, this um, larger gear. Um, you know, it's probably, you know, see how this one's worn right here? See how this, it's all, so that's how the old one was right here. This was loose on it. Um, you know, it anchors there and then it, it goes like this. So, which I'm assuming I'm going to see the same thing on this, which sucks. Um, but what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll take it apart, clean it up and just get it and see which, you know, kind of see which one has a better cylinder and you know get the best parts off it so um let's uh let me uh, let me pull the camera back a little bit and uh give you a wider angle shot all right um the video uh dropped out there because of the um all right i think i had to go in the toolbox and the air compressor turned on so it basically just you know uh vibrated it so but as you can see there's an edge here just like on the other one so it's got the same issue it's not as bad I can still feel it um, you know this is how's this going to look like this well, I can put it back on because it's going to get stuck again but yeah there's a lip here that's no good Ooh, right there sorry so yeah it's got the same issue so what I'm going to do now is just uh, uh, I'll just tear it, tear it, tear it down, and see what's what can be salvaged off of it, and, uh, and then I'll just be on the hunt for a um, another crankshaft. Got uh, some of the parts off, um, just to uh, uh, you know make it easier to work with and see if there's any good parts. Uh, Muffler is being stubborn, just like the other one was. So I'll, I'll uh, I, t I was able to get this one off. So I just heat heat and liquid wrench, and you know a big wrench will get it off. Um, so I'll basically uh, slowly work and you know salvage off what I need. I want to see what the uh, cylinder looks like, but I think that's all I'm going to look at for today. Uh, it's New Year's Eve, so I want to, uh, as you can tell, there's definitely a uh, blown rod on this. Um, where this spins, so just like, just like the other one. You know, there's, there's no resistance, no compression, no nothing, so. Oh well, um, we'll have to see, but well, at some point I'll have, uh, you know, two semi-assembled 10 horsepower couplers at some point, but all right, that's about it.